What's good, Wealth Trades family? What's good? So I want to go over a few of the trades that I got into and break down my reasoning for entering into each of these trades. With my first trade, what I seen before entering it was I seen that this was a lower high from this one, so it created a lower high. I seen this doji candlestick followed by a bearish uh, candle next. I seen even more bearish pressure to the downside. It consolidated back within this consolidation range, um, broke out. That that was enough for me to enter. It was a lower low. I mean a lower high. I didn't even see the crossover. I seen bearish candlesticks forming down. I seen this uh, doji. I'm not sure if this is a candlestick pattern, but I see this doji. I see consolidation and a breakout. I entered with my TP down to this next area. Uh, but the thing with this was, I knew that news was going to come out this day. This is AUD, so I knew that AUD news was coming out. Uh, I was considering closing, but of course I didn't. This is, I want to mention, a demo account. Um, I practiced with real money, lost about $100, so I just really want to fine-tune and go into my next attempt at live trading with better knowledge, better skills, better discipline, just a better strategy. So this is my demo account, but the trades are still the same because I would have took these trades if I was on a live account. So, uh, yeah, I knew news was coming out, but I just didn't close my account. And this was the result of that. News came out around 9 o'clock. This is a 9 o'clock candle. This is news. I'm, st I'm still looking for sales, but news pushed price all the way up here. So my reasoning for entering the second trade is if you go to the 4-hour, I see this big wick rejection. This, the purple right here, means it is a major resistance level. It came, tested the major resistance level, and then came back down. Major wick rejected rejected the major resistance level with a nice quick rejection so news push price all the way up back to another major resistance this wick rejection followed by a bearish candle was my reasoning for entering that trade and if you look down on the one hour you will see this candle is a marabozu marabozu usually represent a continuation of a trend and this is a downtrend so far, making a lower high. So that was another reasoning for me to enter this trade. And yes, that's AUD USD. Now this is a risk-free trade. I might have entered very early. I don't know. I think I got a good entry. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. How how can I explain? my reasoning for entering this candle this trade so my reason for entering gbp jpy is because i seen multiple wick rejections to the upside it tried to break above just couldn't close above came back retested still couldn't close above came back gave it another try and even stronger rejection then I noticed that the next candle that formed after this had no push to the upside. There's no wick, just heavy bearish pressure making it a lower low here. I, I entered after that because I was projecting that price is going to continue with that momentum at least all the way down to this next level. Um, so this is a risk-free trade right now because... It's creating, it's doing a pullback. Uh, I would have set my stop loss here if I would have entered here. So it's a risk-free trade. I also think I closed in profit on this trade. But before I go there, so that's one of my reasons for entering. This right here was a new high. So this created a major resistance, which was another confluence along with this, these wick rejections. These right here created... A new high and how the market is it won't continue just to create highs and highs and highs it will go back and correct itself and retest to see if this is a, two, a true trend so previously it broke market structure you can you can see just how heavy the bulls were in this market 
created a new high. Now it has to go back, retest, and see if it's going to be a continuous trend in the, to the upside, which it failed to do, giving us these wick projections, followed by a candle with no wick to the upside. I entered. Now I'm breaking even. Um, so, yeah, I'm thinking I can even probably trail this trade all the way down to here if this creates another lower high and just move my stop loss into take profit. You know, I also want to try that out before live trading. So, yeah, I mentioned I, yeah, I closed with 1735 because with this trade, I think I was, yeah, it was, it was confusing, but I was, it was like $45 here. But I, you know, I know that it got to retest and retrace, so I wanted to close a little bit in profit. So, seventeen thirty-five. I was going through and looking at all my trades and noticing like commission, and you enter a lot of trades and you close a lot of trades. Yeah, it's you you're, you're losing some in commission. So just be mindful and careful of that when live live trading. Uh, which trade was this? I won sixteen GBP JPY. Oh, I entered this trade three times. No, no, I entered this trade twice. I closed the position and then entered again because this is how this 1672 came. And I was at a 3542 account from a $50 account. So, yeah, that's 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 good to see. But uh yeah, those are the only trades I want to go over with you guys. Um so so far so good. What, I'm, what I've learned and what I'm applying, my strategy is working for me. So just wanted to share that with y'all. Anyways, you guys have a blessed and prosperous day. And if you like the content here you're seeing on Wealth Trades FX, don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel to join the Wealth Trades FX family. Peace.